Hey guys, it's Billy Harris, your favorite performance optimization guinea pig. And in today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different. Today, I'm gonna be testing out the Nike Air Zoom Alpha Flight Next Percent, which is my current running trainer of choice. It's actually my favorite running trainer I've ever, ever had. But I'm gonna do something a little bit different. As I said, I'm gonna be running 5K for time. Now, over the past few weeks, few months since lockdown kind of started here in the UK, I've been running a bit more frequently, having had a lack of access to gyms. Obviously now I've built my own home gym, but prior to that, I didn't have any equipment available. So I was doing a lot of running. I was doing 10, 15 Ks on a daily basis, working up to half marathons. I've now done two half marathons. Um, I'll eventually do a marathon. I think I'm gonna do that probably like next week or the week after, just on my own. I'm not doing it for in any particular race or anything like that. I just wanna kind of test myself mentally and physically, see how I am, uh, where I'm at currently speaking in terms of performance. At the moment, I'm running every Sunday with my friends, Tyler, Fred, Connor, Jack, and we're doing 10, 15K every Sunday. Most recently did 15K in one hour and nine minutes. And a week prior to that, I did my 5K in 20 minutes flat. Um, 20 minutes flat, I'm currently weighing in at about 84 kilos. So I'm doing two runs per week on top of my five resistance and strength training sessions. Um, as I said, really, really enjoying my running at the moment. So I just wanna see how I can hit 5K and what time I can hit it in. I'm aiming for around 19 minutes. At 84 kilos, honestly, that is quite fast. I'm pretty happy with that, to be frank. Um, but in these trainers, I think anything is possible as well. So yeah, as I said, I recently purchased these trainers, the Nike Airzim Alpha Next Percent is, I believe, what they're called. Um, they're, the trainers designed by Kipchoge, who broke the marathon record, I believe it was last year in Berlin or Austria, one or the other. Anyway, these trainers are incredible. They retail at like 260 pounds. As, as you can see, I mean, the sole itself is huge. It's very, very comfortable to wear. Very lightweight trainer as well. There's carbon fiber in here as well. Um, they do drive you further forward in terms of your desire to kind of push. It's really weird. The trainer feels like it's pushing you forward rather than any other trainer I've any, ever worn, which feels kind of flat footed as well. This does feel like it's pushing you forward. So I'm gonna try, as I said, try and hit 5K today in about 19 minutes. So the kind of time I'm looking for to average a kilometer will be three minutes and 50 seconds um, per kilometer, which is pretty fast. The time is currently um, 10 to two, 20 to two. Um, so I've only had one meal so far, so I've had a fuel shake. I'm also currently, as we speak and recording today, I'm currently loading up on electrolytes as well, which never tastes particularly great, um, but loading up on them just to make sure I'm hydrated enough for the run. Um, good sleep last night, which is great. So recovery and readiness metrics are looking quite positive. Feeling pretty good. I've hit two resistance sessions this week already. So it is, sorry, three resistance sessions this week. It is Thursday. So technically today should be my rest day, but I kind of, as I said, just want to see where I'm at physically. Um, see how I can push myself as well. It's more of a mental battle really than this being physical battle with the 5K because you have to hit every kilometer at three minutes 50 to hit a 19 minute 5K or around 19 minutes. So it's quite a tough battle mentally speaking. Um, got these on as well. So these are kind of like the, the half legging hybrid shorts for running from Nike. Nike tops, got my Apple Watch to track my actual run. I'll be tracking it on my Apple Watch and also on Strava. Phone, AirPods, gloves. So I'm pretty well equipped, ready to run. Um, and yeah, let's see how it goes. I'm just gonna give it a while. If I get 19 minutes, I'm gonna be super ecstatic. I'll show you as well. And I'll also post on screen right now the 20 minute 5K that I hit two weeks ago. Um, that would have been on a Monday night at around five to 6 p.m. So fairly late as well in the day. So I was pretty tired by that point after work, but I still got it in in 20 minutes. So I'm excited to see how I'm gonna hit the 5K feeling fairly fresh, um, legs feeling pretty good. And um, let's give it a while, let's go for it. Okay, so we're outside. It is freezing cold in London. What's the date today? It's like the 10th of December, so it's pretty chilly by this point already. I'm gonna go and do a kilometer warm up just to get a little bit of blood flow going, get my heart rate up to a certain level prior to hitting the 5K for time. And I've got my starting point and my end point. These guys who are filming me are ready to record, ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna try and hit 90 minutes. Let's, gonna see how, let's see how we do. I'm feeling pretty nervous about it, if I'm honest, because I know that it's very small margins that will either enable me to hit that 90 minute bracket or fail to do so. so yeah, let's see how it goes. So 
So what I'm doing on my Apple Watch is so I'm setting a pace alert for every kilometer. So I'm aiming to hit the four minute 40 slash four minute 50 bracket. So I'll be four, four, five per kilometer. Sorry, way faster than that. Three, four, five, not four, four, five. Three, four, five per kilometer. That should get me around the 19 minute bracket, the 5K. Um, so that's a great tool to have because it just simply buzzes every time I hit a kilometer, whether I'm over pace, under pace, it will just inform me of that, so I don't have to check my watch constantly. Okay, so that's about a kilometer warm up, just to get my heart rate up to a certain level prior to hitting the 5k. If you're going to hit a race for time or a run for time, so for example, a 5k distance I am running, it is definitely best to hit a bit of a warm up, get your heart rate to a certain point. Moderate intensity, just get your body ready for what's to come. I've got the the times in terms of what I want to hit per kilometer set on my Apple Watch, so it's a three minute, three minute 50 split. If I can go faster, I'll go faster, I'll see how I feel. I know the last kilometer is going to be a proper, proper push to get that 90 minute bracket. So let's see how I feel. Body's feeling pretty good, cars are a little bit tight from the 15k I hit on Sunday. Again, it is Thursday, so you know, decent recovery period, but something I'd like to maybe lengthen a little bit more so. But for today's video, we hit the 5k anyway. So yeah, let's give it a go. I mean, I'm feeling good, pretty nervous, but I want to hit the, the 90 minute bracket and um, let's give it a crack, why not? Okay, let's do it. Dead. Average pace 359 per kilometer. <sighs> Not gonna lie, that sucked. <laughs> that really hurt. I mean, 20 minutes isn't bad, but I just need to do more interval work to get to that 19. And I've got 84 kilos as well because I primarily strength train, not run. So, pretty difficult to adapt to both. Um, but I'm, I'm getting there. I mean, these trainers definitely help. <laughs> But 20 minutes is fine, like that's a four, under four minute per kilometer, so that's pretty quick really. It's normally the first kilometer that slows me down, it's just warming up, so that was 4.15. Second was like 3.45 and then I kept that pace, but once you've lost that first kilometer, it's difficult really. Um, to get that pace back for such a short distance. But anyway, like, yeah, I felt pretty good, the legs felt okay. Um, got to work on timings for running, I think, as well, because like, it's only, what, it's 2.30 now. Body temperature is not as high as it could be between two to five, so could have really optimized that a little bit more, maybe. And maybe, I don't know, maybe prioritize meal timing a bit better because I still felt a little bit heavy, but hey ho, it's part of the process. So, yeah, so enjoyed it. So, just wrapped up the 5k, um, hit it in 20 minutes dead rather than 19, which I'm not too unhappy about. I mean, I would have liked to have done it a little bit faster, but nonetheless, that's okay. Um, the main thing for me really that got me was the first kilometer, if I'm honest, I did it in 4.15, obviously still getting a little bit more warm. And then the second kilometer was 3.45, which is pretty quick. And then that pace maintained throughout. Um, so, I mean, the first kilometer was the kind of the, the nail in the coffin for me really in that, in terms of my ambition to hit 19 minutes, but I haven't done any interval training at all. I've only done long distance runs. So hitting eight, 20 minutes for five kilometers which averages at a six minute mile pace is still pretty quick. I'm quite happy about that, to be honest. Um, felt good, my legs felt pretty good. My calves were tensing up a little bit. Just had some electrolytes. I'll take some ashwagandha as well, just to make sure I'm in more of a parasympathetic state prior to actually digesting solid food. I've also had a shawl shake, um, but the main objective really is to get back into a parasympathetic state in terms of regulating my breathing. Um, obviously today I'm filming videos back to back, so I won't be doing any breathing work or anything like that in terms of meditation after my session, but Normally, ideally speaking, I do a little bit of breath work to, as I said, get back into that parasympathetic state rather than being fight or flight response to stress on my body right now. Um, I'll probably do a little bit of breathing prior to actually having solid food as my main meal for the day, which is gonna be dinner at around six o'clock, seven o'clock today, um, just to make sure that my body actually digests food properly rather than it being stressful on the body as well. But yeah, overall feeling pretty good. Um, I'll take two days to recover from running training. I'll still hit my strength sessions this week. So again, tomorrow I've got a push session, tomorrow a pull session, and then a leg session at the weekend as well. Um, and then my plan is really to do a half marathon on Sunday again. Um, so that'll be my third half marathon. I'll do that with Tyler and a couple of our mates as well. And then I think after that, I'll probably go for a full marathon, maybe a week after or two weeks after around that Christmas period, New Year period, um, just to see how my half marathon pace is. I'd love to do that in 
I reckon I could do it in about three and a half hours, probably, because I did 15K in one hour, nine minutes at the weekend. So I reckon around that pace would be pretty good. Uh, I can hold the four minute 45 pace pretty easily, pretty steadily um, per kilometer for a long distance. So I reckon I've got that in the bag. But yeah, I mean, in terms of these trainers, like as a review, if you guys are interested, um, as I said, I really couldn't recommend these more, both for short distance and also for long distance, if you're looking to increase your times. They're incredibly comfy. They even have features here, like the padding in, in the heel here, um, which prevents any rubbing and any blistering at all for long distances, which is great. Obviously the carbon fiber sole as well um, is really, really helpful in terms of getting that extra spring. And it does feel like you're, it's pushing you further forward and propelling you further forward as well. Um, particularly if you're running on a solid surface like concrete or tarmac, like I am in London, obviously being based in a city, um, these are pretty helpful to have. So yeah, guys, really couldn't recommend these shoes more than anything else. I mean, they're incredibly lightweight as well. Like the actual um, sole itself, well, sorry, rather the actual base of the shoe as well is so incredibly thin as material. And the attention to detail from Nike here is just sick. Um, I say Nike, not Nike. Don't know which you guys prefer. Um, but even like the laces, for example, they kind of got like an anti, I don't know what to describe it as, anti kind of shoelace unlocking material. So basically the laces aren't gonna come undone at all. You never have that issue with these trainers because the, the material here and the texture of that um, so that's another really cool feature. Obviously the Air Max bubble here as well in terms of it being an Air Zoom product, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, guys, really couldn't recommend these more. Obviously, as I said, I'm running in these kind of like hybrid leggings as well, which keep my hamstrings and quads fairly warm for running and I feel fairly mobile, which is good. 5K the boys. And yeah, overall, pretty happy with training at the moment. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a like and obviously um, any questions that you have in, the, in leave in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.